and welcome to another episode of Lori's Corner. We at Adobe take security very seriously, and especially in Acrobat and Adobe Reader. I could sit here and talk to you about security all afternoon, but what I'd like to do is introduce a video of Brad Arkin, Senior Director of Product Security and Privacy here at Adobe, who will talk about Adobe's strategy in the security space. My name is Brad Arkin. I'm the Senior Director for Product Security and Privacy here at Adobe. And in this capability, I'm responsible for managing uh, the Adobe Secure Software Engineering Team, or ASSET, and also the Product Security Incident Response Team, or PSERT. So our security activities are divided into two main areas. One is proactive work that we do on the engineering side to make sure that our products are engineered with security in mind and that we can defend against not only the threats we know about today, but defend against where threats might be going in the future. Then on the reactive side, we're able to work with the security community, work with our friends and our customers in order to understand where the attacks are occurring and figure out what we can do in order to help defend our customers against these attacks. Uh, the good news is that we're committed at every level of the company, from the CEO on down, that this is something we absolutely have to address for our customers. And so we're able to cut through the red tape, bring resources to bear, and make the tough decisions we need to in order to protect our customers against these types of threats. The proactive work that we do is mainly integrated into our Secure Product Lifecycle, or SPLC. If you're familiar with Microsoft's approach, they call it an SDL. It's the same idea for us. We've got about 85 different activities, different milestones that occur throughout product development. And all of these things together help us make sure that we're delivering products that are engineered with security in mind and are going to be robust in the threat environment in which they're deployed. The SPLC is something that's been a big part of the work that we're doing for the next version of Acrobat, Acrobat version 10 and the Acrobat 10 family, which includes Reader. Because Reader in particular is deployed on hundreds of millions of machines, it's absolutely vital that we're doing everything we can to make it as secure as possible against attack. In addition to all of our secure programming activities, things like threat modeling, code reviews, static code analysis, security testing, things like fuzzing, we're also doing a lot of work uh, in one feature in particular, which is called Adobe Reader Protected Mode. Uh, and security folks may be familiar with the term sandboxing. So Google Chrome, Microsoft Office 2010, Protected View. These are a couple examples of sandboxing that are out there today. And Adobe Reader Protected Mode is an exciting new step for the Acrobat family in protecting our users against these new types of attacks that are happening. At the Black Hat Conference in Las Vegas in uh, July of 2010, we publicly announced that Microsoft and Adobe are collaborating together to provide advanced security information about product vulnerabilities to the Microsoft Active Protections Program, or MAP. Uh, this is a group of security vendors. In July of 2010, there's about 61 of them. Uh, representing the largest security protection providers in the world. Uh, it's worldwide. It's not limited to any geographic region. And by providing this information in advance of a security update, we're able to help those vendors uh, implement protections against attacks against these vulnerabilities before uh, potential bad guys know about uh, the security updates. And so we're able to allow not only the updates to get released, but on the same day, protections in the security products to be in place as well. And the end result is that regardless who your security provider is, which companies that you buy from, and who your security vendors are, you're going to be able to have this additional level of protection uh, against types of attacks that uh, attacks against vulnerabilities that we've patched internally uh, and are releasing updates for. Security is a top priority for us at Adobe, and the work that we've done as part of the Acrobat 10 family uh, launch and release is something that we're very excited about. With sandboxing and our support for these other security features that we've implemented, we think this is the most secure version of Adobe Reader and Acrobat that we've ever released, and we're really excited to get it out to all of our users in order to help them continue to use the features and functionality uh, in all of the different environments in a safe manner. As you can see, Adobe takes security very seriously. If you'd like more information, please visit adobe.com security, where we have a blog, and you can sign up to get security alerts throughout the year. Thanks, and I'll see you again on another episode of Boris Corner.